called me Tone, and I was, you know, working on, I'm still working on, this is part two of the gray unit that I have to do for my client. Um, so, you all saw how I had to get that um, overly toned hair looking more gray instead of purple. So, now it's time for wig making. Okay, so it's the same hair. Just uh, got the purple and everything like that out. Um, so I have a rental, okay? And then I also have three bundles. Now they're only 12 inches because like I said, this is for an older client and then I'm gonna also curl this hair. So that'll be part three. You'll see what I'm gonna do with the hair. Um, so in this process, uh, you need to have a um, mesh cap. So that's what I use, okay? Um, I usually have them in black, you know, because I'm doing, I'll do like dark hair. Uh, for instance, um, you all have seen me make a, a wig, you know, like with dark hair, so forth and so on. So I'll have it in black. And so those I usually get off of Amazon. Um, but for some reason I couldn't find a new one. So I just found this at my local uh, beauty supply store. So. Um, and they come, I think it's two to a pack. So they're real stretchy and everything like that. Um, and then of course you need your needles. So this is what I do, like just the same as if I'm doing a sew-in or something like that. Um, I make sure I have plenty of needles threaded. Okay, and then let me see, some good old scissors, okay. So whenever you gotta cut, usually what I do is I like to fold um, my tracks. Um, I just like doing it better, uh, like it that way better. Um, so, but once I get closer to the top, you'll see that I may cut or I may cut, you know, before that. It just depends on how I feel or what I feel like I need to do. So, um, let me think, let me think, let me think. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much all that you need. Um, I have this mannequin head. Um, that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to get this wig out of the way. Don't pay this no mind. And um, this one is 22 inches. 22 inches. So that's about average size. Um, that one right there uh, is 24. That's for a larger head. <laughs> um, so yeah. So I'm going to show you how I make my wigs. So stay tuned. Um, since I don't plan on talking through this whole thing, um, let me just show you what it looks like. And I don't know, I may, oh, it's only one in here, so, my bad, one. So, yeah, this is really breathable and it's stretchy, okay? Um, I'll put this part to the back. Move this part to the front, so that little V there, I put in the back. Now, you'll notice the elastic here, okay? That elastic portion, when you are sewing, or when I'm sewing on this, okay? I am not sewing through, all the way through the elastic. I am literally just grabbing the mesh, and I'm sewing through that, because um, I want to keep the elasticity. I want to keep it stretchable. If I go and I sew through the elastic, it's going to be tight, okay? And that thing ain't going to stretch. So you don't want to do that, all right? Make sure you're just simply going through that mesh part, okay? When you're sewing. So that's what I will be doing. So you all just stay tuned. And I hope this helps anybody ready to make a wig. I think that I did forget, um... You also need some T-pins, okay? Now, um, I was planning to put it all up in the camera because you're not see that box. But um, some T-pins, just uh, some pins shaped like a T. Some people prefer not to use these. That's fine too. Um, so you'll see, like, I got, like, some of these. Use my ashy hands, y'all. Okay. All right. I've been doing hair all day. Hands been in the water. 
I'm about to run over there and get some lotion. I'm for it. I'm gonna take care of that. <laughs> but anyway, so you can use any pen. Something as long as it's going to hold or help hold uh, the frontal in place and help hold, you know, the tracks in place as you sew it. So yeah, I forgot to tell y'all. Gotta have them T pins too.
walk by.
Oh, 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 oh,